Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to stress test your Mac CPU. So what you're going to want to do is obviously have your Mac on and you're going to press command space bar to open up the search and type in activity monitor should pop up. So this just tells you what processes are running on your CPU and how much um, percent of their CPU you're using. So I just tested this and you can see it's been, it was way up at 100, which is what you want when you're stress testing. Right now it has 90% idle. So you want this idle, now it's even at 98, because I'm not really doing much on here. So you want this idle to be at zero and your user is probably going to be close to 100. So what you want to do is press command space to open up the search again and type in terminal. Now this is going to be, depend on how much, what size processor you have in your Mac, um, how many of these uh, windows you're going to have to do but or open up. So for me, I just tested this and it was around, um, sorry about that. It was around five windows. So you could do command N to open a new one. So that's five right there. You can find a good number by going to about this Mac and then system report. And it should tell you how many cores you have. So I have two cores. Um, it really depends on your processor speed and hyper-threading, et cetera, et cetera. So I would just start with one and then see how much is idle and wait wait like five to 10 seconds. And if it's not close to zero, then open up another one and type this command again. So it's yes. And if you wanna see, so what this command does is type out Y's, like the letter Y, as fast as it possibly can, continuously, nonstop. So if you don't wanna see the, so here, if I just type yes, it'll just keep pressing, keep you know, typing Y. So you can do Control C to stop at any time. So if you don't wanna see that, you can do yes, and then I believe the command is, space dev, or no, slash dev, slash null. So that command is going to print out all those Ys, but not show you that the Ys are being printed. So there we go. So now we can check on our activity monitor. And in a few seconds, it's gonna pop up saying yes, see? So that's using 100% of one of the cores of your CPU. So this has two cores. So realistically, you should only have to type two, but that's just not how it works. Um, so we can do this again. I'm gonna pause the video and show you guys when they're all done. All right, so here we go. We got all five windows running. Um, and as you can see, the idle is at zero and then users at close to 100. So during this time, you're gonna hear your computer uh, start to get a lot noisier, which is just the fans going on, which are trying to cool the CPU since it's doing so many processes and it's close to 100%. So you, you'll have this little graph showing you the usage. And the way, the best way to test this is just leave it running for um, five to 10 minutes. If your computer crashes, then you know you're, there's an issue with your CPU and you'll have to do some further investigation. Um, but I just ran this and I didn't have any crashes or anything, but my computer will randomly crash at certain times. So I know something is wrong. So that was stress testing the CPU, but now we have to test the RAM and then the hard drive. So those are the, the CPU, RAM, hard drive are the three things you're gonna need to test. And 
The CPU is definitely the easiest one to test just by running that simple command in the terminal. So yeah, I'll just leave it running for five to 10 minutes. If nothing happens, then just go to your terminal and press control C on all of them. Or you can just, you know, exit out and close process. Either way works. But that's just how to stress test your CPU. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below.